everyone. So I have a 11 by 14 gallery wrap canvas. Nice thick ones. Um, everything's taped off and my push pins are in. And I'm going to do a dirty pour on this one. Um, I've already pulled my colors. I have Deco Art Worn Penny Metallic. Folk Art Metallic Aquamarine. Folk Art Blue Flash. Deco Art Oyster Pearl. Those are my metallics. Artist Loft Aqua. Craft Smart Seamus Pearl. Soho Phalo Green Blue. Indigo from Lucas. And of course some black. So I'm going to push these over here and we're going to make three cups for a dirty pour. And I will spray these cups with the WD-40 silicone spray. This helps to release the paint as well as create just a few small cells. And I'm going to go ahead and start with just a tiny bit of black because that will be our last color out probably. And I'm going to follow that with, actually let's follow that with the Folk Art Blue Flash because that will give us just a hint of purple. Then I'm going to put the oyster pearl on top of that. Follow that with the Folk Art Metallic Aqua. And then the Soho Phalo Green. Oh. This is my husband's doing. <laughs> use our Craft Smart Seamus Pearl. And then the Artist Loft Aqua. The Indigo. I'm going to put some copper in here. This worn penny copper color is beautiful. And we'll follow that with black. Back to the blue flash. The oyster pearl. Aquamarine. This is metallic. Soho Phalo Green Blue. Craft Smart Seamus Pearl. Artist Loved Aqua. The indigo, worn penny, and some black. I want this painting a little on the darker side uh, for contrast, so that's why I'm using the black and the indigo. All right. So I have three cups of paint. I'm hoping that's enough. It should be. We should be okay. Uh, let's give them a little swirl. You don't want to stir. You just want to swirl. If you stir, you may get mucky. Okay. 
Let's start with this cup since we have so much black in this cup. That's pretty. I just love black and metallics together. I'm just placing this on the edge because I'm going to pour that off anyway. Okay, on your third cup, this is where you want to make decisions where you want to place color. So I already know the black's going to come out. So I'm going to look and try to place some here. Okay, I really love that corner. I've got to pour some of it off, but I want to keep some of that. So we're going to head that way. definitely pulling a lot of purple more than I want to uh, we have paint in the cup where we can grab that spot it's right in the middle too <laughs> when you tip it one way it's purple when you tip it the other way it's blue so wipe my hands and give it a torch and then see what comes up. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below and hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I upload my next video. Check out all the links below in the description for everything that we do. Let's see what we got. The copper is pretty. It just looks orangey right now until it dries. Very dark painting. I'm trying to get that to come up. I don't want to stay in one spot too long because it'll burn your paint. All we're doing is warming it up to bring that silicone up because all my paints already have silicone in them. Okay, I have blue and copper in my cup. Let me step back for a moment and look at it on the screen. Pull that down just a little bit. Balance it out. Opens up a whole new can of worms. <laughs> Be careful so you don't stretch too much. Do I dare? I have to do something here. I'm not 
liking that. Alright. stretch those two out and see what happens. I look like I just put a snake in here. <laughs> All I'm doing is stretching out those two ribbons that I just put in. It looks like a snake. Do you see him? Do you see him? <laughs> okay. Let's let that set one second and see what happens. Okay, so I let it sit for about five minutes, and we did get a few more cells, but I am going to give it another torch. A little bit more movement. This kind of is fading out, which is good. Okay. Now I'll show you. So click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. Shop with us on Amazon and Redbubble and Etsy. And if you haven't got your stone coat, art coat resin yet, uh, use the code below. You'll get $30 off an $80 order. Check out Stone Coat Countertop's website and also their channel. All the links are there. So I'm kind of digging this. I think when it dries, I'll absolutely be in love with it. There's a lot of color in there. So it's very dark, and I'm hoping the dark colors stay dark, dark, and the lighter colors stay light. So um, I think it'll have more definition and more contrast as it dries. And of course, the copper is like everywhere. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye now.